Hi guys, it's Steffi from the Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. This is Benny. And if you've followed my channel for a while before I moved to my place, you'll know that Benny is my family's dog and I am puppy sitting him today so he's going to appear in quite a few videos because I'm preforming and I love him. He's probably going to sleep on the bed behind me or possibly in my lap. I don't know if he's decided yet. Oh, he's in my lap. I don't know if he's going to like this. He's probably going to hate it. But welcome back to my channel, especially if you are new here. Today I am filming a Books Beside My Bed video. This is where I recap what I have read in the past week. So this week's recap is from the 22nd to the 28th of July. I read three books this week, a total of 925 pages, and my yearly reading total is up to 139 books. All of the books I read this week I did receive for review and all of them I received from Alan and Unwin so thank you very much to them and they've all come out in the last week which is really exciting. The first book that I want to talk about is After the Lights Go Out by Lily Wilkinson. This is a Love Oswaye thriller story published by Alan and Unwin and it tells the story of 17 year old Prue who lives with her father and her twin sisters and they live in the middle of nowhere country Australia and her father is a doomsday prepper. And he has been training his girls in what to do if the inevitable end comes. And they've got a bunker all prepared and they do drills all the time. Prue is old enough to know that something's not quite right with this whole situation. When inevitably something goes wrong and they have to put their plans into place, it is about the decisions they have to make and do they follow everything that their father has taught them or do they actually try and help the community that's left standing after the event? So I really love this story. I gave it five out of five stars. It is one of my favorite young adult books of this year. It is definitely one of my favorite young adult thrillers that I've read this year. Can't recommend it enough. By the time this video goes up, I will have been to the blogger brunch for the launch of After the Lights Go Out. So I will probably have a blog post up to talk about my experiences there but I do highly, highly recommend this book. If you are a fan of young adult thrillers, this is definitely worth checking out. I couldn't put it down once I started. The second book I read this week was Angel, which is part of the Through My Eyes Natural Disaster Zones series of books. This one was written by Zoe Daniel and the whole series has been edited by Lynn White. And this series tells the story of young teenagers who live through natural disaster zones. This one happens to be set in the Philippines. In this story Angel is the young girl whose perspective we hear from and she lives in the Philippines with her family. And the natural disaster that we find out about is the super typhoon Haiyan which hit the Philippines I think in 2013. In it Angel is separated from her family and it is how she survives and how she tries to find out what has happened to them in the wake of such a horrible tragedy. I've read two books in this series now and there's a whole stack. There's the Natural Disaster Zones, there's also the War Zone series which I want to read a few books from to compare them but these are really written for your upper end of middle grade to your young young adult readers. They are very poignant, they are very focused on the perspectives of the young people living through these terrible events and they're super quick easy reads. These would be really great for your five six grades to talk about world topics so definitely recommend this. I gave it four out of five stars. And then the last book that I read this week was Charmcaster by Sebastian de Castell. This is the third book in the Spellslinger series and I love this series. It's not a series that I would have ever predicted myself to have enjoyed reading but I did request the first book and really enjoyed it so I've kept requesting the subsequent books in the series and I have to say they are a lot of fun and it is a young adult fantasy series with a bit of a it feels like a bit of a western twist to me but I don't know I'm who knows. That's just how I think of it. And it is published by Hotkey and distributed by Alan Arman here in Australia. But I love this series and I love the covers of these. They all look like playing cards because one of the main characters reads cards. And so the illustrations on the cards have meaning. And so I love that the covers are designed this way and you always have two characters from the book. So this happens to have main character Kellen and the squirrel cat Rikus Ry or Righteous. I don't know how you pronounce it I'll leave the name on the screen. Obviously being the third book in the series it's kind of hard to talk about the plot of this one without spoiling a whole lot of details for the previous two books. However the main character Callan is a spell slinger. He was born to a family of mages however he has been cursed by the Shadow Black and so his family has cast him out and in fact he has a warrant on his head. He is an exile and he travels around with a, a woman named Farius who is Nargosi who they're sort of like wandering storytellers who sort of track what's happening in the world and they use they paint cards to talk about how things are unfolding in the world and they try to prevent wars and 
catastrophes from happening. So he's following her around and what I really liked in the story is how Kellen seems to have grown. He doesn't think he has but he really has it as a character and as a reader you can tell that he's starting to realize his place in things and that even though he keeps finding himself in trouble that doesn't necessarily mean that he is incapable of dealing with the situation himself. The squirrel cat continues to be hilarious and sarcastic and he just wants to eat everyone's eyes and steal things so I quite like him. It is a wonderful fantasy series and I highly recommend you check it out if you have been considering it because it is really really good. I think the books have just gotten better from the first book. Shadow Black and Charmcaster have really raised the stakes and I really enjoyed them. So those are the books that I read this week. This is a super quick wrap up this week which is different for me, I know. In the comments below let me know if you have read any of these books or if you are planning on reading them. I will have reviews up for these on my blog as well in the next in coming weeks so definitely do check out the links down below. You can follow me on all my social media links there. I hope that you are having a wonderful week and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.